So Charlie, we're stood in a field yeah. in the north of England. Yeah. Tell me what's going on and why we're here. Yeah, so, uh, so we're stood here because of some crazy idea from Mr. Shane Oley about a, a mountain marathon called Dark Mountains. And uh, Dark Mountains is probably the, the top end of the mountain marathon sector being uh, that it's, it's a mountain marathon, the usual spec of a mountain marathon, so what you would usually expect is a two-day event and camping overnight, but this one is going to be brought into one night and actually run overnight. So we're going to have people going out into the mountains and they're going to start at dusk and they're going to run all night and they're going to do two days running, a little bit less, squashed into one night and then finish at dawn. So hence we have dark mountains. And what sort of time of year is this going to be taking place then? Uh, well, you would have liked to have it in summer, wouldn't you? But uh, we, we, we've decided that January the 26th would be a really good time to hold this. Uh, and why is that then? Because it, we're going to get the maximum amount of night time? Maximum amount of night time, yeah. So it really is a, a dusk till dawn. We could be expecting a really nice clear night with a full moon. I and mean, it is supposed to be a full moon on January the 26th. So hopefully we'll have something like we've got behind us here. Uh, it would be really lovely and some weather like we've got this evening but it could also be serious conditions uh, you know the clag could be down the weather could be coming in we could be experiencing snow by the look of the winter at the moment we're probably going to have snow on the ground so you know i'd say it's going to be quite spicy the pure aspect of it based at night in the middle of winter in january what sort of runners are you trying to appeal to with this event I think, I think we're trying to appeal to runners who enjoy a bit of masochism. You know, it's not somebody who wants to go out and have a little tootle around the park. This is people who really enjoy going out, testing themselves, uh, you know, pitting themselves against the mountain, the weather, and, and night time as well. And there's, there's a certain sector of people nowadays who have decided that they like doing things at night. You know, I guess it's not just night navigation it's it's navigating without being able to see where you're going so it could just be like a daytime with serious weather and the clag down you know you can't see where you are you don't know where you are and you have to just navigate by looking at your compass and trusting your compass bearings and finding features as you go along and that's a very similar type of thing to what you do at night time so the, the night aspect might make people feel a little bit freaked out but actually it's not that much different to just going out when it's a really claggy day um we know it's in the north of England. Yep. Can you tell us any more about the terrain and the conditions we're going to be going over, anything like that, without giving too much away? Yeah, I can tell you bits about the terrain. I mean, it's it's, it's uh, quite a changeable area, so the weather will come in quickly and it'll go quickly. Uh, quite often, it's it's uh, got mist over the tops, and the ground is very moorlandy type of ground. Also, I'm going out course checking tonight, so. Uh, We've got a full moon, it's going to be very uh, very much like the event, or hopefully very much like the event, that people won't be pitting themselves too hard against the weather. Uh, and I'll be able to report back after this evening of what I think of the actual courses at night time, and we'll know exactly what we're doing by then. Yeah, so the classes run from uh, the elite end, or there'll be an elite class, and then we run down, we go A, B and C. Uh, and those are the linear courses. Uh, you can't enter these unless you've actually done that type of mountain marathon spec during the summer and you know, you've proved yourself that you're able to do it and then we'll add one score course in as well. There will be a cash prize of £500 for the elite class so the guys who are going to win that will be in with that £500. Marmot are the headline sponsor for the event. What's brought them on board and how does that sort of relate to their branding do you think? Yeah, I think, well, Marmot over the last few years have, have not really been known for running, so uh, they've been very much uh, a winter sports-based brand uh, and have started to move into the lightweight side of things and I think Marmot fit the bill very well for doing a night type of mountain marathon. They've got a lot of lightweight kit there, but they understand winter conditions very well. Silver, well, Silver is one of the sponsors. They're there supporting with head torches, uh, so people can upgrade head torches on the day if they need to. We're, we're really recommending that you need about 350 lumens to make yourself feel comfortable at night time. And we certainly won't be letting anybody go out with less than 150 lumens. In pairs, yeah, for yeah. safety aspect. Cool. Yeah, um, yeah, it would be a lot more scary going up by yourself. <laughs> at least you've got somebody to cry with. <laughs>